All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the committee on land use. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca, chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of, these co of this committee that are present today. We have Council Members Gibson, Barron, Deutsch, Chair Kalos, Kuhl, Reynoso, Richards, Torres, Traeger, Gredenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, Chair Moya, and Rivera. I would like to thank Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on a number of projects referred out of our subcommittees. We will be voting to affirm the designation by the Landmarks Preservation Commission of the Park Terrace West, West 217th Street, Historic District LU356. The Historic District is located in the Inwood neighborhood of Manhattan. According to LPC's designation report, this Historic District consists of a significant enclave of residential architecture consisting of freestanding and semi-detached Tudor and colonial revival style houses. We will vote to approve LUs 362 through 365, the 809 Atlantic Avenue rezoning in Majority Leader Cumbles District in Brooklyn. The zoning map amendment will rezone an existing R7A slash C2-4 district to an R9 slash C2-5 and R6A district. The zoning text amendment would establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area. A 74-711 special permit would modify various bulk regulations and 74-533 special permit would waive the residential parking requirements. Together, these actions will facilitate the development of two new mixed-use buildings of four stories and 25, 29 stories in height with residential and commercial use. The project would also allow for the restoration of the landmark Church of St. Luke and St. Matthew. We will also vote to approve LUs 370, 371, and 372, the 103rd North 13th Street Tax Amendment and related special permit application in Councilmember Levin's district in Brooklyn. The applicant seeks approval for a zoning tax amendment to include the block within an industrial business incentive area and a related special permit. The special permit would allow an increase in the maximum permitted floor area for specific industrial and commercial uses, modify height and setback regulations, and reduce the applicable parking and loading requirements. These actions would facilitate the development of a seven-story building with retail, office, and light industrial uses. We will also vote to approve pre-considered LUs 381 for the 245 East 53rd Street rezoning for property in Councilmember Powell's District in Manhattan. The applicant seeks approval of a zoning map amendment to establish a C2-5 commercial overlay district within an existing RAB district, which would permit commercial ground floor uses in new six-story building on the north side of the district, as well as bringing 25 lots, which currently have existing commercial uses, into conformance. We will also vote today to approve with modifications OU360 and 361, the former Parkway Hospital site rezoning in Queens. The zoning map amendment will rezone an R1 2A district to an R7 A district and an R7 X district. The zoning text amendment as proposed would designate the project area as a mandatory inclusionary housing utilizing options 1, 2, and the workforce option. Our modification will be to remove MIH option 2 and the workforce option, leaving MIH option 1. Together, these actions will facilitate the development of a new 14-story market-rate residential building and the enlargement and change of use of the former Parkway ho Hospital to an eight-story mixed-use building containing 68 affordable dwelling units, 67 affordable independent residents for senior units, and a community facility space. In total, the proposal would consist of 351 dwelling units and approximately 180 access accessory parking spaces. Finally, we'll be filing pre-considered LUs 367 and 368, the 41 Summit Street rezoning application to remove it from the calendar because the applicant has withdrawn its application for a zoning map text amendment. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? All right, seeing none, I will now call a vote in accordance with the recommendations of subcommittees. So approves LUs 356, LUs 362 through 365, 370 through 372, and pre-considered LU 381. To approve with the modifications I have described, LUs 360 and 361, and to file pre-considered LUs 367 and 368, will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. Chair Salamanca. Aye and all. Deutsch. Aye. Diaz. Aye. Gibson. Baron. I, with the exception of land use 362 through 365. 
Constantinidis. Aye. Kalos. Aye. Ku. Aye. Reynoso. Aye. Richards. Aye. Torres. Traeger. Grelenchik. Adams. Aye. Moya. Aye. Guevara. Aye. My vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items are adopted with land use items 362 through 365 are adopted by the committee, 15 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for 10 minutes.